guess who is back yeah i'm back i'm back i'm back with another video welcome back to the channel you guys and um oh <laughs> today's topic is gonna be so so challenging for me when god gave me this idea for this topic i was like god are you serious are you sure you want us to talk about that because <laughs> i don't know if i'm ready to talk about it at this point of life but who am I not to obey? Before we get into it, guys, you know, I'm a candle girl, I'm a candle lover, and just because I love this candle so much, I make sure I go and get a pink one. <laughs> you know, which one do you like more? The white or the pink? Sheesh, I like them. They are so cute. I don't even know which one I like more. I just want both. So we're going to light this candle, and I don't know yet who we are lighting this candle for, but maybe in the video... In between the video we're gonna figure out <laughs> okay y'all this lighter is not the truth at all I need something better I need those electric lighters this candles family is the cutest thing ever 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 look you could eat it up and it smells so good what it smells so good y'all look at that i don't know if you can really see it so well i'm gonna have put a timer for myself again the sun is a little small i don't know why maybe the wisp is just small but anyway away from the candles <laughs> guys welcome back 55 of us in here we are still stuck at 55 i don't know why we are not moving but um godspeed you know there's a reason for everything and um <laughs> guys I, I know I did mention that I am taking my catechism classes and I'm on a journey of converting to Catholic and I keep forgetting to do the sign of the cross. <laughs> How funny. It's so hard for an old person to learn new tricks. And like you already know, we go, every day I am, God is revealing to me different ways to be starting this channel. I don't know, by the time maybe we are six months, it's going to be something different. And um, so we're going to be starting with uh, the group description, which is Joshua 21, 45. And of course, we're going to, and then prayer, okay? Then we get to the talk. So in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Joshua 21 45 it says I know but now you guys already know what it says <laughs> it says June not one of all the Lord's good promises to the house of of Israel and scratch Israel and put your name in this case I'm putting my name in the house of June failed everyone was fulfilled amen family let's pray our father what in heaven we come for this morning we thank you in our hearts Thank you, Jesus, for gathering us here, 55 of us. We are moving slow. We've been stuck for the last two days, but you know why, and um, you're working behind the scenes as usual. God, as we claim your promises one by one, and as we uh, grow this small business that you birthed in me, uh, we want to claim your promises, Lord. And you promised us that not any of the promises of my house and my viewers' houses uh, that was not fulfilled. Let your will be done today, God. We love you and we adore you. In Jesus' name, amen. And God, please make it less of me and more of you. Hide me from this script and show yourself up to my viewers. In Jesus' name, amen. Family, <laughs> why are you not sharing this group? Don't you like it? <laughs> You know, if I have to start begging you guys to share, I'll start begging you, but it's going to take a while because I got some later fry <laughs> that I'm working on, <laughs> you know, but uh, today's talk is, is interesting and um, when God gave me this message, I was like, daddy, are you sure? <laughs> Should we do this right now? And he was talking to me about gifts. And I said, gifts? And well, I was like, actually, we're in the Christmas period, the gifting season, and people are out there buying gifts and wrapping gifts for their loved ones, their families, their bosses, their employees, etc. So let's get into it. I was like, uh, what's up with the gifts? And um, 
Yesterday, I was in the morning, I was having a conversation with my daughter, Brianna, and um, I was like, I don't remember if I asked her <laughs> or she asked me, but it was, we were talking about gifts and Bri asked, or I asked her, what are you getting for Christmas? What gift are you getting me for Christmas? And I asked her, what do you want? And she said, uh, have a bird. I said, you have a have a bird. She said, um, scooter. I said, you have a scooter. She said, uh, four. I said, you have a phone. <laughs> she said, she listed some stuff and she has all those good stuff. And, um, when she went to school, I was left thinking, so I have gave this child almost all the gifts that she, that she can imagine at her age, <laughs> you know, but what are these gifts going to benefit her with? And, um, and God brought this thus to me and he says, June. <laughs> about treasures and gifts and I don't know what is the best way to say this message Holy Spirit help me in the easiest way possible because I know I am speaking to my generation Gen Z and um, we are in a very very tricky spot in life simply because we we are living in an influencer's world but influencer's world i mean we want to do what other people are doing on the ground on facebook you know on the socials so if i see my neighbor got a hoverboard for their child child i'm going to get one for mine <laughs> so that when i record a video she is hovering all over the house you know and um uh, Oh my goodness, I don't know what's the best way to bring this message out. We are building a small business on the promises of God, okay? And I am so excited because this week, this weekend, going into next week, I am working on 100 orders. Imagine, ah! the website is not even out yet, but child, what can God do for you when you trust him? I'm building this small business on his promises, so he better not embarrass himself before you guys, you know? And um, so back to the gifts and treasures. That, when I, when, I got, when I got that order of 100, it's not from one person. It's actually, it's orders that I'm making, hoping to sell them by next weekend, by the 30th of November, okay? And uh, I was, I, I've been so excited and I was like, wow, this is, this is such an amazing gift, you know, <laughs> like the first order of business and I'm already making a hundred pieces of my product to sell out. And so God started speaking to me like, you know, June, you are getting into this business and of course you're going to cash in. You're going to be making money. And uh, where are you going to be storing your riches and the treasures that you're going to gain along the way? And I said, hmm, good question, God. <laughs> where am I? In the banks? I'm going to build a big house. I'm going to buy a new car. I'm going to go to Africa and build my parents. Well, they already have a big house. What can I build them? Another big house? <laughs> you know, I was thinking about all those things. And he said, June. You see, that's the problem with the generation out here. You guys want money to just build up your treasures and put them there, big houses for people to visit. Oh, she, she's so rich. Look at her, you know? And I was like, oh, what are you saying? He directed me to Matthew 6, 19 to 21. And um, for now, I am just gonna read maybe what, what am I going to read? I'm going to read 19. This is what he told me about everything that I'm going to gain from my business. He said, June, do not store up for yourself treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. I said, child, what? Read that again. 
Matthew 6, 19, June, do not store up for yourself treasures on earth, where moth and brass destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. Oh, can you imagine that? I was like, God, wow. Right, so where do I put my money? <laughs> where do I put my money? Because I'm going to be cashing in. I'm not in this business to be broke. I promise you guys, no, I'm not going to be broke in Jesus' name. And you're not going to be broke either. <laughs> and the Holy Spirit reminded me of this movie that I watched one time. And funny enough, let me tell you something. Everybody that has been in your life, everything that you have watched, anything that you have gone through in this life, one way or another, when... The Lord opens your eyes, you will see what it was about and why you had to meet that person or why you had to watch that movie or why you had to be in that situation. When the Lord opens your eyes, nothing will be in the dark for you anymore. Trust in me. So I watched this movie a couple years back and I never understood what the movie was, was exactly. And the whole movie, I was just so sad. I was crying. Oh my goodness, I was crying the whole movie. It was a Nigerian movie. I've been crying through those movies. <laughs> yeah, I'm that girl. I like to watch me Nigerian movies. And it was about a family of about eight kids. Seven to eight kids, maybe. And they had just lost their dad. And um, the dad died abruptly. And he did not leave a will. So in my own thinking, I'm thinking if my husband dies today and he did not make a will, I, I'm, I'm automatically taking his stuff. No, it's not even his stuff. These are our stuff. We built this together. I don't care if you bought some of them on your own. They are ours. <laughs> because when a man and a woman comes together and they are married, they become one. Okay, and the, so this family was um, was having issues in the distribution of the inheritance, and they were in a meeting, and one of the children, no, the mom was given a chance to speak about the house because it had now become a drug, a drug, a drug, a drug, the drugging, the drugging, the drugging, the drugging, you know. And uh, the mom is old. The mom was old, okay? So it was an, el an, an elderly woman. And they were in a meeting, and uh, the mom was give given a chance to speak. And when she spoke, my heart broke. You know, my heart broke into pieces, and I cried so much. And I was like, uh, this is what the mom said. She said, you know, when I carried you in my back, you children, <laughs> when I carried you in my back and your dad, so um, I forgot to say that at the point of death of this, their dad, he was money up. He had wealth. He had property. He had all that good. He had land. He had all that good stuff. Okay. These are children who grew up in money. And um, so the mom's was given a chance to speak and this is what she said. She said, uh, when I was carrying you, my children, on my back, and my husband, who is your dad, who just passed away, was wearing all sort of these Ankara shoes, you know, all these village shoes and all that stuff. In short, she was trying to say it was a struggle. Everything we have built, anything you guys are seeing right now, me and my husband built it when I was raising you guys. And now that you guys are grown people, this is how you're going to treat me. You're going to want you want to come and take what belongs to me and my husband just because I am a quiet woman or I look like I don't know what I want in life or what I am because I just keep quiet. You know, and I thought about this woman and I was like, maybe this mother has gone through so much as a mother because I am only I'm a mother for only 8 years and I can say I feel like I've gone through so much. I had years experience of raising a child so imagine raising more than eight kids huh it's a lot it's a lot so the woman says 
And the way you guys are treating me after everything is so unfair. She spoke very many words that broke my heart. I felt like I was part of that family. <laughs> and you know, it's funny because when they speak in Nigeria, it's so funny in their pidgin language, they say, I, I don't know, I can't apply it. In my mind, I can't apply it, but when I speak, it's not gonna come out bad. Let's keep moving. Yeah, so she explained, and she was such a sad mom. Very sad, you know? And one of the children, <laughs> Man, God forgive us children because we are full of shit. <laughs> God, please forgive us. You know, because we think we know, but we don't know nothing. God, please forgive us. Okay? So, this child, she's an adult. He's an adult. You know? And they said to their mom, You know, me, I have been taking care of you. I send you money. I buy you stuff, I pay stuff, I take you to hospital, I do ETC, ABCD, and I was like, uh, hold up. I paused that movie. I paused it because I was like, what? So you are going to be counting the things you've done to your mom. And when this, this mom was speaking to, to her children, this is what she said. She said, nobody helps me, nobody takes care of me, Nobody is there for me, etc. And that's why this child came back and said, no, that is not true. I buy you stuff, I pay you for stuff, I take you to hospital, I send you money. And this child was calculating everything they have done to their mother because clearly the mother, she can see them. <laughs> she can see all this good stuff that I have been doing for her, you know. And I was like, you know, there was dead silence in that meeting. <laughs> after this child spoke and this is what I was I started thinking wow God so I am going to raise Brianna for however long I live until maybe she's 21 and goes out on her way and in my old age I will cry every day because of the children that I prayed for the children that I pray to you to bless me and you bless my womb and I'm gonna spend my old age crying because of these same children. And God spoke to me at that moment and said, June, go back to the book of Matthew. What does it say? Matthew 6, 19. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and grass destroy and where thieves break in and steal. Guys, so uh, let's go back to me and Brianna's conversation yesterday when I was asking her what she wants for Christmas and after naming all the things she wanted, we discovered she has them. Right? <laughs> we discovered she has them. But what is that one thing that she doesn't have? I have not given this child enough of God. I have not, I have only stored my treasures on Brie by money buy her stuff that I see in the internet that are trending and I want my baby to be at par, you know? And that's, those, that is where I have, in, I have invested my money, my energy to make this child happy. This same child that when I am old, because I didn't teach her anything about God and values and good stuff, will make me cry to my grave. I was so sad. I was so sad. I was like, God. This generation that I am living in, we are prepared for doom. And you need to come and help us because I can tell you, child, <laughs> among all the friends I have made in this America for 11 going to 12 years now, I don't know a single mom or dad that I have watched teach their children about God. We don't go to church. We party till Sunday in the we party till Sunday in the morning and Sunday when people are going to church is when we are sleeping. I was so sad. My heart was beating so fast. You guys, my heart beat so fast. You know, let me check if it's recording because this camera be doing the, the most, okay? It's recording. It's recording. 
know. So, you know, I was so sad. And I said, God, teach me how to give Brie better. Because clearly, the gifts that I'm giving her are going to be destroyed. They will be destroyed by what? They will be destroyed by moth and rust. They're going to rust away. And thieves will break in and steal them. One day, when I, when I put all my proceedings from my small business that I'm going to be doing and build this one big house, who knows? Tornado is going to come and sweep it away. <laughs> you know? And he, he just does, does not stop at, uh, do not stop up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But wow, so God, where do I store them? He says, but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where moth and rust do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. See, when I, when I was watching this Nigerian movie, I told you guys that this family they're rich. The parents had money. The dad, before he died, he had, he, he had properties, he had lands, he had money, he had all this good stuff. But when he was raising his children, eight of them, him together with the wife, they did not instill any good attributes to these children. And now he is passed away, he is gone, and the mom is taking it all in without his help. And you know what she's suffering from right now? The same properties, the same lands, the same money. They work together with their husband so hard to make these eight children happy children. <laughs> but the moth are destroying them right now. The thieves are breaking in and taking these things. I was like, God, oh my goodness. You see, that movie, it was a big lesson to me. And I hope you're gonna learn something from this. I may not be explaining this movie the very best way, but bottom line, what I'm saying is, we are in this gifting season. If you have already bought gifts for your children, well and good, but consider gifting these children a piece of God. Because in your old age, these same children will make you cry with Roblox. <laughs> they will make you cry with hoverboards. They will make you cry when you sick in your sick bed, hoping you can have a child who will just even give you a hug and not send money from abroad to take you to hospital. You will be praying that God, where are all these children that I gave birth to that they cannot serve me? Where are those children that are busy attending their gymnastic classes? There's nothing wrong with gymnastic classes. And all these things I'm talking about is things that I've given my daughter. She don't be too gymnastics. She's be the best swimmer. She has all the gadgets. She has all those good stuff. <laughs> so I am talking to myself too, okay? And so this woman, when she spoke and told the children, nobody helps me. Nobody loves me. Nobody is here for me. And this one crazy child just jumps out and says, I send you money. I pay your hospital bills, I do ABCD, I be doing ETC. But because this child is not even groomed in God and in them they think they love God just because people say I love God or because you go to church. Let me remind you something. Not everybody who calls God God will see the kingdom of God. Okay? Don't forget that. And she says, I buy you ETC, ETC. But because she does not know God, she thinks the mom is talking about material things. This woman is wishing you could drop what you're doing the way she dropped what she was doing to put you on her back, to take you through school, to take you to out abroad, to take you to the best jobs that you can do, to make sure you have lands where you can build for your families. She just wants a hug. She wants to just sit down and see her children shower her with love, not gifts. Remember, this money that you're saying, oh, I send you money, 
Oh, I take you to hospital, I pay for your bills, etc. It's the same money that these children are fighting for, the same properties they are fighting for, that the mom and the dad spent years building. And now the water taken from the mom, because the dad is God, and because the dad left before instilling morals in these children, the mom is suffering. She is in tears. She's in her old age wishing she could die sooner because I cannot take this. Yo, that movie was so sad. And God is a good God. God is a good God. Let's see if this is still recording. <laughs> it's recording, y'all. This is so funny. The way I jump up and back. This is still recording. But let's wind up because it's been 25 minutes. God said, in the book of Matthew 16, June, do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where more than was destroyed and where thieves break in and steal. And he goes ahead and says, but so when God tells you something, he will show you how to do it. Okay, so he goes and says, but store up for yourself treasures in, in heaven, where moth and brass do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. Because what? Because why? Because Matthew 6, 21 says, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So all these good gifts that we parents give our children is because we treasure these kids. Those are our hearts, our little hearts. Y'all, I speak guilty right now because Brie is my, Brie is my heart. She's my everything. I know Candice does the worst to her throat, but anytime she tells me, Mommy, I just want one more, I'm giving it to her. <laughs> because she is my heart. That is where my treasure is. That's where my heart is. You know, but God is saying, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So store up your treasures in heaven, where moth cannot destroy, and where thieves cannot break in and steal. And your treasures will be safe and sound with God. So if if your heart for where your treasure is, there your heart is. If, the, if your kids right now are your treasures, <laughs> remember, in your old age, they will forget it and you're going to be crying yourself to your grave, okay? It's not like the best thing, but it is what it is. And we are, this generation that we are in, we, are, we have so much work to do, bro. We have a lot of work to do. Thank you so much for staying with me. Remember to share this video and let's get to 100 so we can reveal this business. Love y'all. Toodles.